All right, there you go. Hello and welcome to the QT number five. There's our intro. Enjoy. Oh, fantastic. Yep, I hope you uh, enjoyed the the performance of yourself. Oh God. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so uh, a little, little bit outdated. There's ten people instead of eight, but that's fine. Is there? Oh yeah, I should probably. Uh, Stop letting people join now. Are people still joining? No, Everett was the last one, but we still have 11. So either you're looking at an outdated list. Oh boy. Yeah, they're all still the same, so... Let me, uh... Get this stuff started. Process check-in. And we can even switch over to the brackets. Process check -in. For our favorite part of the day, the participants, the big old shuffle seeds button, and of course chests, because chests love to make themselves known. Here we go, gents. Shuffle those seeds. And start the tournament. Oh, I already seen some good fights. Let's so, see if anyone gets screwed early on. We got three people with a buy. Advert, Salt T, and Red Sketch. Advert, has he made it in here yet? No, he hasn't. Advert, what are you playing at? You gotta join the lobby. You gotta join the lobby to play. So, Sparkles and Vertigo. That'll be an interesting one. Oscar and uh, Twilight. And Kaka and Husky Bits. Husky finally haven't actually fight a match. And Coat and Yeager, because these two just can't help but fight each other every tournament. Oh, yeah. So that's what we have to look forward to, gentlemen and gentlemen. This should be fun. Now. How do you find this place and you don't know the tor uh, lobby? Who, who's, who's, who broke the rules? So uh, Everett figures that out. Um, let me see. We're going to start with Sparkles and Invertigo. And Sparkles, fantastic. Not the Twilight kind. All right. So, Mr. Sparkles, fantastic versus Invertigo. You guys will be our very first match for the tournament. Are you both commentating over this one? Or yes. Am I doing a separate one? All right. We're going to get a bunch of them. Come on, you've done this before. We gotta build the loser's bracket first, and then you can go. All right. Uh, gotta get the spectate on. Oh, you missed it. Oh, damn it. Too slow. That's all right. Well, that's okay. I'll uh, take this one solo. You you rest up. You had a big day. Get out of my way. Doing nothing. As we have uh, Cal vs. Cal. Who saw it coming? We should have all seen it coming. It's time for some rope shenanigans. Both whipping. Vertigo gets a combo, but drops it. He's too busy uh, playing other games, getting a little rusty. Sparkles has had plenty of practice recently. And Vertigo's finding his uh, rhythm. It's coming back to him. Fantastic, pushed in the corner. Nice air grab. Gets in again. Still working on that uh, starter combo. It's over now. And Vertigo takes it pretty well. Took him a while to find his uh, his fighting legs, his kicky hooves. Again, this is best of three as always. Vertigo starting with the early hits, but now uh, Sparkles once again in the corner. Gets caught rolling out. Vertigo just got the full meter. The pressure does not let up. Sparkle's just always caught pushing buttons. I'm gonna have to teach you how to do some wake up, son. Mercy indeed. That was a. That turned into a beating. Oh boy. Once Vertigo got a. 
Get used to how to play game again. But that's only one round, you gotta win two. Uh, hold on a second. Where are you? You get on a spectate. Oh. Oh, you're in. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, don't tell them to start yet. Well, they're already going. Oh, okay, it's alright. That's fine. I'm already still. I'm gonna restart your screen. Alright, here we go. Round one. I'm gonna be a part of this game. How has right. been touched. It's true. Hopefully, Sparkles can actually show some fight in this one, because the other one seemed like it was kind of a wreckage. It was, uh, the first round was pretty uh, even at the start. Kind of like it is going now, but mm -hmm. once Vertigo gets started, Sparkles seems to have trouble waking up, finding his options. Yeah. Seems like Vertigo's just catching him every time. Like that. Yep. And there we go. Keeping his uh, combos going pretty consistently. Yeah. It seems like Sparkles just can't catch a break. Okay, here we go. I just gotta keep the pressure up, but nope. He's uh, headbutted back into the portable wall splat. I'm stuck in the corner again. Oh, he's out of there. Ah. Uh, the second hit. He almost got away with that roll. And Vertigo had the read and then did a jump C. A little too high. Mr. Sparkle starting with the JC. Looking good so far. He's got that. Ooh. Probably one of the combo trials. That looks like. Same kind of Arizona I use in my bad play in Arizona. Ooh. Uh, the pressure is on, just keeps reading the rolls and grabbing them. Yeah, Sparkles is uh, just instantly wants to get back up, get back in the action, try to close in, but in the Vertigo's reading that, he doesn't have to let up. He can keep going, let Sparkles run into it. Sparkles using all three supers just to get a little bit of damage in. Well, he evened it, but one confirm from Vertigo. Get through that juggle decay. And picks up the. It's gonna be another super? Nope. nope. Juggle decay too high. Good counter. Uh, oh. Good slide. You can take this. You can take this. Oh. Smart buttons. That was a good wake up. He's learning. He's really close. Ah. Oh. Oh. Alright, that's. 2 0 for Invertigo. 2 0 for Invertigo. Which reminds me, I did not start the scripts because. We always do this thing poorly. Reload bracket from challenge. Uh, okay, yep, you're still not showing the names. That's cool. Let's just, oh, that's. Okay, it seems to be going, yep. All right, that one was opened. So let me just edit that manually. Vertigo 1, 2 0. Oh. Submit. Alright. Ooh, a little bit of technical difficulties on my side. Alright, there we go. That's all fine. Next up, we have Oscar versus Lucens. Oscar, Oscar. Where's Oscar? Advert found his way in here, I see. Be, uh, be a bit of a lag battle, as you can see. 200 ping. That's what we got the GGPO for. That's right. It'll work its magic. Hopefully. These are open, so... Script should catch it. I'll keep my eye on it. Palm Velvet! Training stage. Here we go. Starting with that Shatter B. Oh, someone's got, uh, got their phone going. Let's see what... This is not good. Twilight. Oh, sorry. No worries. A little, uh, 
a little rusty. Get put it's in the like, corner. Bad place. Okay. It's getting a lot of pressure from the palm. I mean, Oscar loves having you in the corner. You can just fill your screen with shit. It's hard to react. Oh, the magic explosion gets him out. But goes right back into the corner. And Boy, backwards on the stake. Oh man. That was a really impressive showing from Oscar, just keeping him in the corner. Yeah, he, uh... Twilight slash Lucens needs to fight to stay in the mid-grounds, but he is Velvet. He kind of likes having his back safe. Pressure doesn't stop from Oscar. Can't get any distance and back into the corner. I'm gonna get a hit. I need a super just for a little bit of safety. Oh my goodness. Ooh. That's gonna kill. Absolutely disgusting contour right here. Well, he got a hit in, so it wasn't perfect. Gives round one to Oscar. I'm sure everyone's surprised at that outcome. Hopefully, Lucens can get a breather or something. Uh, maybe he should uh, set his GGPO even higher, try to get some frame data or frame delay hacks. Ooh, that's dirty. It's very dirty. This is a dirty game. Is he a dirty boy? Let's see. That's up to 216 now. Hole 16. He's probably gonna, yeah, he's staying velvet. Don't think he has a pocket capable enough to deal with Oscar. He got, he has a decent TN, but uh, he has a palm of his own as well, but nowhere near Oscar's level. I don't think he wants to take that mirror match. Ooh, the mama dog. Caught from behind. Uh, just more pressure. He's finding a lot of use for that, uh... Wake up shat magic shatter. Probably gonna keep trying to stockpile magic for it, but... Now following it up, it's just a little bit of damage. Okay, here we go. We're seeing something here. Okay, he's got some hits. Lucis could just relieve some pressure off of himself and he would be able to do anything at all, but... Constant pressure. And the suit. Tip. And the tap. Oh, goodness. Oh, someone had to get the, uh, the bad luck of the draw. Can't have Oscar Husky first match. Or could we? We have a loses bracket run if that happens from either of those. Most definitely. Well, uh, no bits. Not dead yet. Soon, soon, but not dead yet. Three levels of super. Oh, uh, I believe. No, that's oh, uh. Not. Oh, Oscar actually dropped it, and the oh. snowflake saves him. Maybe create some distance. Oh. Accidental inputs were accidental. Spinning velvet gets smacked down. Another 2-0 for this tournament. 2 0 and a scripted grab that. Huzzah! Now, speaking of Husky, we're up to Kaka and Husky. Alright. Let either of them wake up. There's Kaka. Husky, my boy. He's ready. He's just sitting there. We're gonna blow through this quick. Matches like these. See Husky go nuts here. I reckon you're in for a wreck. Re 
ready? Fight. All right. Kaka and Husky, both players we've seen a lot of. Mm -hmm. Another cow with the ranks. Top dragon playing. Oh man, the cross up right there. Oh man, Kyun's a dirty as hell. <laughs> True. She gets her. Uh, she's got her options. Got her buttons. And uh, now Kaka kind of feeling what Sparkles is feeling. Wakes up, but can't ever really make anything of it. Mm. And that's true for both Sparkles we've had. Combos are kept short and sweet, but there's a lot of neutral exchanges being finished right here. Good dash, but again, Huskies just uses his flight to just stay, stay air level, just slightly above the aggressive Arizona. Oh yeah, but he got a fair bit of damage in. Mm -hmm. He's gonna start off with first blood. Let's see if Kakao can win any more neutral exchanges, because the other round I think he won like. Barely one. Yeah, he got one good set. But first, he's got to eat corner time. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, it's still going. Yep, just spamming the the flight JCs. Oh my goodness. But he gets out and gets on the other side. I'm gonna use some of that meter. Oh, uh, come on. Ooh, Husky oh, very quick on his, yeah. on his reaction. I think this could be it. Oh yeah. That is indeed it. Oh my goodness. I have not seen this game in a while. Can't help from those things. Insane. Oh, the well ups are just starting. Who? Who are all these people and why are they here? What is going on? All right, we're on to uh, match two. And you missed it. Oh. Oh, That's all right. Amateur hour. That's why we bring you. It's true. It's gorilla. It's true. Flash sparkles. You're normies. They know our secret now. Edvert, I'm blaming you. I don't know. I think you're passing our secrets along. Well, safe till you know how to get into the server. Alright. Kaka getting some early damage, takes the lead. Now in the corner. That's Husky Speeds. Ooh, gets Firecracker in the face, opening him up. And blocks low, but the, uh, the short flight JA. Keeps it going. Cross Tanner right back in the corner. Caught rolling out and it's gonna be finished off. Do not the defeat be the end. Round two. Fight. Alright, little uh, little bit of footsies. Kaka learning. Running up on the Husky for the wake up, but Husky, if he has magic, he's just gonna use that um that back magic to the somersault out of the way. Good use of headbutt right there. And wow, he is taking this one pretty clean. He's getting hit from time to time, but he's He's got the dream. He can take a round. He can do it without super, but he might just be forced to. Out of irritation. There it is. Gets him on the AA. Kicking, stomping, and kick. Those are some of the favorite things of this mad cow. Lots of super jumps, a lot of hopping around. 
Firecracker actually being used to try to close in, but the cow is airborne. Trying to bait Husky into that rope. I think he's seen it too many times now. He's not going to fall for it. Husky seems to be staying low. Kaka's getting Husky to think. He does eventually get caught. But it's a promising sight. Took round round. He could maybe take another. Just needs to watch this Infinity JC. Alright, flight's gone. A little bit safer. Gets caught on the grab. This isn't going to be death, but he's going to be close. No, he texts out. Now it's my turn. Ooh. Gets caught. He had to play aggressive. He's got to try, but... That's the level one into level two. Finish it off. It's over now. Like a moth to the flame. Maybe that last K is kissing. Salty. Alright, so. Advancing quickly. Oh man. Yeah. That was a lot closer than before, but still a 2 0. It is. We got, we're got full of 2 0s, but there was indeed the, the one round. Oh yeah. Alright, so next we have Ebvert versus Invertigo. All right. You shut the hell up, Giddy. Pap's the best. You're a Pap main, even. No bully the Paprika. You're gonna see some Paprika bullying when uh, Coke gets up here in a minute. But never seen perfection before. All right, here we go. Ready? Let's see some Fight. Arizona Velvet action. Hmm, Everett as... Velvet, this is going to be interesting. I haven't seen him play in a while. It's, I only know him as a TN. Is... Is Edward, like, a common person? Not common, but... Is he around often in, like, the other... He is. Uh, other he's, lobbies uh, and stuff? He's been active, even in the beta, and then into release. Uh, oh, he man. streams from time to time. I don't think he's, uh taken much of a break from the games. Probably wanted to mix it up, so he chose uh, chose some Velvet. And that's a nice combo. Took some damage, but just managed to take Invertigo out for the first round. round two. Fight. All right. Very good use of using explosions to open up. And keeping the oh, pressure okay. on. Not really giving Vertigo any go find any real space. Except for that one. There we go. Some hmm. good damage in for Invertigo. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to just catch Invert pushing buttons on Wake Up, but he was able to get him on that icicle. Ooh. I think this match Should might be. Uh, more even than Everett was thinking. Vertigo's got to keep the pressure up. Oh, he's good. He can actually uh, tone back. He's going for oh, a ride yeah. right now, though. As soon as you let that pressure go, Velva could just back the heck off. Ooh, but that's what you wait for. You wait for it to push a button. You do your super. And there it goes. That's what he was waiting for, I guess. That's exactly what he was waiting for. Saw that opportunity when that explosion came out. Smart. Again, gets that first blow, usually the explosion, push him back in. Nice decent little combo. Velvet's got some distance now. Already and Vertigo's at half health. Good rope. Already put her in the corner. Yep, but Everett's uh, blocking's been on point. Ooh. Ooh, crouches under. Very nice play there by Vertigo. 
And going to level two and missing the ground bounce again, but catches the roll. It's actually really close. Yeah, uh, Invertigo is consistently getting in with his magic usage. So it's a good thing he got that second rope right there. Oh, the cross -cut. And again, <laughs> rushes in with the magic. Now he's out, so he has to be careful. Oh, uh, this... Oh, drops the oh, combo. Oh, the Still super would have actually done it. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that was a match. Nope, and that was only round one. Edbert has to win one more. Shatter B is a good move, or so I'm told. See if he's gonna stick with the velvet because that was really close. He's gonna stick with the velvet. I would probably put money on it, at least until uh, he feels challenged into the third round. Come, oh, there's a tail. Oh, he did switch. Interesting. Fight. Didn't want to push his luck, I guess. Yeah, I guess not. Or he wanted to. Uh... Show his true power. Jump straight to his final form. Hopefully, Invertigo could deal with the switch. Well, that's the thing. It's a uh, completely different playstyle. Still super aggressive, but lots of high, low, high, low. Revolve it. You kind of know how she's setting up. Already put the hand on the corner, though. Oh, yeah, Tarka's, uh, or no, in Vertigo. Has fought a few TNs in his day. Uh, caught by the JC mix-up, not mix-up. Quick dash behind the cow and then quick dash right back. Long Tian combos. Into the super. Yep, just stick with the level one. And Vertigo switches it around right after. This is really close, holy crap. And Vertigo waiting for Cal to come in. Heard the counter. And Vertigo stayed oh, in the air. Why'd you go for rope right there? Oh, but he uh, gets so it. Cool. That's good. Mess with the cow, you get the horns. Shatter D is good if you... Yeah. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I get what you're saying. <laughs> and for coming out aggressive, right again, out of the gate. Same as last round. Is he gonna give uh, Vertigo the chance still, to play footsies? Still stuck in this corner. Tactical oh, retreat. Super. <laughs> that was actually pretty good. Yeah. Even if you miss, at least you get away. Ooh, gets the air grab, but returns with an air rope. Let's pick up the rope that time and catches Tianho trying to blitz forward. Come on, use your super. There it is. And dashes Ooh. to continue. Have Bert no doubt sweating now. Ooh. Oh! Gets beat on the jab exchange. But he gets back in. Probably gonna see a level two. There's one. There's two. If you, if you could get this combo going, maybe we could see the end of this match. Either of them are gonna be on the cost. It's this. Nope. There we go. Holy crap. I was able to continue it off the uh, ground bounce. I was really close. It was. Edbert managed to take it, but cost him two supers, so he's gonna have to try to get that back this round. And again, he always starts off strong with his aggression, and then uh, Invertigo seems to adapt mid range. Like so. It's a very good read on the, the TN. I guess he was spending all his time fighting dragons in Skyrim, getting getting prepared. 
Looks like he's used to this. Oh, no, he's uh, going for a ride. Oh man. Let's see how long he continues this level two. He might even be able to end it right now. Nope. nope. Tactical retreat. Getting out of there. Vertigo is looking really scared right now. Huh? Well, it worked for him last time doing that tactical retreat. Oh. oh. Misses the rope. Really risky rope. Yet. You have much to learn. Wins. Rematch? KO. Script. One one. Script did not grab that. So I gotta do this manually. Yep. And Vertigo adverts, and then we're on to our third match. I think. Was it 1 1? Or did Everett switch? Was it 1 1? I thought it was, I don't know. Chat, help me out. I'm. They walked away from each other. It seems like it was a. Oh, two. wait. Oh, yeah, no, it was. Oh. Ever. Okay, no, Everett won both. That's right. It was just so close, I couldn't tell. Quality. Quality as always. Let's go. It's 2 0. -oh. Yeah, the script did not catch that one. It's uh needs to be updated, but yep, so we got Edward 2 0. Next up, Coat and Jaeger. Where is either of these boys? There's Coat. Jaeger. Jaeger, Jaeger, Jaeger. You are here, aren't you? He's next to Coat. Oh there he is. The rivalry continues! Let's see another dragon at play. There we go. Or I'd be seeing Paprika at play. I no, it's dragon. So Your and the velvet. He comes in here talking big words, and then boom, Ready? goes back to dragon. Fight. Disgusting. <laughs> We're on Pap's stage. No Pap to be seen. <laughs> Don't get the first hit, but. Just a stray hit. So we keep going into this combo. And Velvet is already in the corner. Again, depending on the pressure, she likes to be in the corner. Just to do uh, shenanigans like that. Shagger B is a good move. Ooh, the cross up. Oh, man. That might be just a little bit out of... Uh, Coach League needs a little more dragon practice for those those attacks from behind you. Did he already losing faith? Uh oh. Oh, the high, uh, the low, high, high, low, high, high. Neutral high. All right, here we go. Ah. Uh. Shatter B to start. Doesn't pay off. Maybe a little too uh, one-dimensional. Hopefully, Coke can get some distance. Gets, get out of here. Let's see if he pushes buttons on Wake Up. If he resets that juggle, he's going to be dead in the next hit. Oh, this combo is going on for a while. Yep, into a level three. It's not pretty. <laughs> oh. Right. He oh, did tech so out, so he did reset the juggle combo, but probably needed to tech out at that point. He just uh, had to go back in. Had to try to get something, but nope. Oh man, that was a really powerful showing from Jaeger right there. Jaeger doing Jaeger things. Where are you? There you are. Round two, here we go. Can Coat revote? Hopefully he know. can see if he can take it back. Now I think Jaeger, yep. Yeah, he's he's had oh, his fun. We he's down the path. Give Coat some sort of a chance. Ready? Fight. Oh, playing a 
Ooh. Manage this game a little bit. Nothing's really happening right here. Yeah, just oh, some, there uh, we go. Mid range splits these, but Go catches on the teleport. And the coach standard right there. Tries the belly flop. I think like Coat's pretty comfortable with these teleports. Yep, he's uh he's had a good amount of practice. Jaeger finally gets in. Drops the combo. He's uh perhaps coming Keep along, going. but still needs some work. <laughs> well, we tried to chase it with the teleport instead of a super. Not oh. quite. But the sweater mixes up. Oh, magical coat. Just can't get out of this corner. Now it feels the obvious low, low, high switch from Velvet. Jagger saw it coming and he's gonna spend the meter. Oh, the cross up. Oh, it looks like coat had it for a while, but uh, as soon as he got in that corner. Yeah, he, uh, he missed the cross up at Super. Could have pushed uh, Freak away. Or respond with his own super after uh, after a good block, but mix-ups. They're Coast Bane right now. Going good with the setting up the icicles. Oh man. And Jaeger actually pushed really? blocking. Rather than punish the uh, the Shatter C. Really intense neutrals and then Freak gets the first hit. First combo, I mean. It had a few hits. It's still in the health lead, just by chip damage alone. And eats the oh, broccoli. Eats the broccoli. Oh my goodness. You know better. Jabbing against Paprika? Never do. It's the year 20 plus 18. What are you thinking? Oh man, that that really that broccoli really cost him. And he already had a full meter. Ooh. Oh my god, Dropped that the block. was Had it set. Yeah, you're throwing Scary. out the Simmon roll. Feeling confident. Oh, that should there be it. Goes. Oh, man. GG. Even with a Paprika, Jaeger shows a powerful showing. Cool. Once again, gonna have to look for. Uh, for a possible rematch in the loser's bracket. But every every battle is a lesson. To take away from it now, we have Salty versus Oscar. Where is... Good luck, Oscar's Salty. Let's see what, uh, what shenanigans he's gonna bring to the table. It's gonna be Paprika, it's gonna be Oleander, it's gonna be a Palm. Will he play the Palm game? Does he have a palm? He is salty. He has a. Uh, he has anything, to an extent. Oh. Doesn't mean he plays something he's good with. Can we just talk? No, he's going to Oleander. Oh, Oleander. Interesting choice. Oh, I gotta get out of there. <laughs> yep. Tried to teleport away. But uh. The palm dashes in. More corner things from Oscar. Oscar's oh. a really scary player. Yeah, especially when he's got mom in the corner. Once he gets started, it feels like you can't do anything. You just see all this shit on the screen trying to react to it. It's just a clutter mass. Oh. Ooh, started oh. to have some sort of momentum and then immediately broken. Oh, that's that's Palm and Oscar for you. Yep. Oh, it just goes in with a jab. Yeah, it works. Expected Ollie to back off. Yeah. Uh, like you said, once Oscar's got you in the corner, it pretty much feels like it's game over. So you gotta you gotta play that mid-range game. Get them to fight in the middle of the field. Stay out of that corner. Looks like Salty really really caught up in just that one round. Well, so far, um, 
Oscar hasn't really gotten a hit. There's his confirm, but he drops it. Gets caught by an explode to teleport again. Ooh. Surprised we didn't see a smite with that double jump. Is he gonna just explosive teleport palm to death? Nope. Wow. Hey, hey. Just no match for me. Off on the really? dog call. Well done. Final round. Hopefully you can keep it up for this round. Or else getting caught in the corner again. <laughs> Bycalf was in this tournament, Jaeger, but he had to leave for a different tournament, so. When everyone sees him, be sure to call him a faggot. That's right. So this is the only tournament you should be going to. The only voice that matters. And Oscar. Oh. Uh, Oliander seems like out. a good call. Well, maybe that's his secret weakness. His kryptonite. Oliander's. Oh, uh, he didn't have the distance on his roll. He could have super. No, he didn't have the meter. Never mind. No mass puppy murder from Super, but he takes oh, it. 1 yeah. 0. Oh, this. Salty was really strong in the last two rounds. Holy oh, crap. Indeed. I mean, after a fight like that, he has to stay Oliander. I don't think he can risk fiddling around with uh, Paprika. Oh, yeah. Well, take notes, everybody. We're learning, uh. We're learning Oscar's weakness. I don't think it is, um. MPK stream today, uh, Jaeger. I took a look a second ago and it was a Shadow Wolf or something like that. Ooh, teleporting away. Right, let's see what Oscar has as a, as a response. Watch out for the helicopter dog. Yeah, so far. Salty is still looking pretty dominant. Yes. Oh, gets it with the JC. Well, Gonna has... carry him all the way to the corner. Yep, he's got the full confirm that he's been looking for, but no. Salty's so able to get the uh, get the read and get out of the corner and punish hard. Oh my goodness! He's just Salty. all over Oscar. Nicely played. Salty just can read Oscar like a book. Holy crap! Yes, ever Oscar's weakness is pressure for sure, though. He's got the He's got the know-how for my paprika he can deal with the pressure. But the Oliander pressure is a whole different sort. And I've seen him take out a uh, take on Jaeger's pressure. Oscar looking uh, really strong right now. Husky's Better missing his wake uh, uh, not Husky. Um, Salty is missing his wake ups. Now he's turning around. Fire level three. Yep. Catches. Uh. Nice continuation. <laughs> oh, that even the double. That explosive teleport. Every time. Move. You want to expect someone to get caught by it so reliably, but Oscar's just having trouble reacting in time. Oh man. Ooh, oh, this I is gonna finish it. it. There we go. Not dead sure yet. That was close. Super. Yep, um, Salty was in the position to do some chip damage with Super to try to win, but he uh, got caught after that reading. Got too greedy with his book. Now Oscar is counter pressuring. Could be the turnaround. Step in the corner, Mama's on guard. If Salty could just get out of this corner, he could do what he's always done. No, but this is a... Uh, looks like it's happening. This is going to be the... Bruce. Oscar... No, he drops it. Didn't have the... Uh... Ooh. <laughs> oh, man. Bringing out Fred. No reason not to. This is the round. Oh. oh okay. It's caught jumping. He stayed on terra firma, he could have punished that. That's gotta be it. Oh man. It's 1-1. One, one. So this now. isn't even the finals, and we're having intense matches like these. Well, when you got the 
the best players fighting each other. You're always gonna have good matches. Best players in all of TFH. All right, let's see some more crazy things going on. It looks like Oz here just got used to salty shenanigans, so let's see if it did. salty can... The momentum shift might be real. Training stage to end it like a true final. There we go. We're seeing Oscar going really aggressive now. Doesn't matter if Salty's in a corner or not. Take the grab. Using some projectiles to keep himself safe. Oh, oh he let's go. Is blocked just too short. I know that pain. It seems like there's one more hit just after you uh, block the full string. Oh, it's supposed to teleport. Gets out of there. Old reliable. If he can get the pressure going, he could maybe take this round. He's gonna commit. And again, he gets oh. caught reading this greedy SOB. But just a little too long there. Hmm. Maybe go for one magic instead of two. It's nice to have, but they're just recovering too fast. Now he's got no meter to work with, and ooh, good jump on Mama's bullshit. Good use of avoiding Mama, but stuck in the corner again. Uh oh, he's out of there. Pressure's still on. Cross Canter, he gets confirmed with the 2C. Cross Canter again for the chip damage from the super. Still red health, still okay. Nope. Oh. Effort was made. But rip. Oh. Mama put Salty into the ground. It's like really, Oscar really knew what to adapt really quickly right there. <laughs> GG. GG. Script broke again, so give me a second while I fix. Alrighty. Let me uh, here, reload from challenge. No name database. There we go. So, we have. Who's next? Red Sketch and Husky Red Sketch. Why isn't that on my list? My bracket list. It's Red Sketch and Husky. There it is. Okay. Yep. Script is ready. So, Red Sketch and Husky. You are up. Oh, here we go. Let's see some two giants here. Oh, Husky saying the, or not Husky. Ah, I guess I'm saying it. Salty saying the, the frames were the cause of his his input staying on reading. Oh. Causing him the trouble. But here's a match we haven't had in a good long while. Red Sketch and Husky. Red Sketch was a top tier pat. Might be a little bit rusty. He did get some practice in earlier. Hopefully he shows in this match. Let's see how many shenanigans he can hold up to. Now he is a fan of teleports and flying dragons are always ripe for a belly flop. Oh man, if Husky will even let him. Oh, he's got the wake up teleport. Just like that. Double teleport. No more games. I know I know Red Sketch likes those. I've seen him do those a lot. He does like them. Sometimes even triple teleports. Back to the footsies game. And that uh, same side teleport, very good for keeping yourself safe from responses. It's actually Palm a great station. underlies move. You got Carrion. Carrion Tien to the corner. 
And yes, it's uh, gonna drop. Ooh. I almost had a broccoli set up, but Husky knows better than to jab. Nice cross up with the JB there. That's probably it. Nope, it's gonna oh, drop. Oh. But he could chip Husky out with uh, projectiles. It's over now. Or, or just... a little, little neck hit. That's one for Red Sketch. Round two. Okay. Still plenty of fight to go. Oh, super jumps. Oh, the cross up with the apple. Yeah. That is another favorite of uh, Red Sketches. Projectile into super, which sometimes the projectile goes nowhere. And you're left wondering why. Lovely position to be in. You got the two apples on both sides. There it is, double teleport in a belly flop. Bringing it back to the apples too. One apple gone, the other one will be disappearing shortly. Must be finally getting to confirm he likes. Able to continue his combo. He's gonna want to keep this going until it's even. Nah, he's not gonna spend a whole nother bar on it. He's gonna back off, get right back in. Oh, I'm gonna that firecracker. Cross can't do, bring it back to neutral, but <laughs> getting caught from the cinnamon. Yeah, I don't think that was a. An intentional cinnamon. I think that was a wanted to be fruit, but also trying to block. Oh. And there it is, firecracker. Closing One it out. Well fought, but not well enough. Really even matchup right here. Husky starting with the cross up this time. He's not gonna let Red Sketch get time for his shenanigans. Oh, Red Sketch is back in the position he was last round. Yep, I think he was trying to pull out a fruit and he got caught again. It was last round, so they could use all the supers they want. Oh, it just gets opened up. Red Sketch needs Doesn't anything right stop. here. Stop. Gets the lick. Just the momentum right. turnaround. This is his time. Go for that. Uh... Well, even a command grab wouldn't have been enough because Husky jumped. Ooh. Lucky block. Great player. Uh... Nope, that uh. was in the pot. Pot would have given him a second hit to keep him safe, but Broccoli just has won. It's one for Husky. And it was Red Sketch, uh... Probably lost his surprise advantage. It's been a while since they fought, but now Tusk Husky seems to be in the zone. Seems to remember, you gotta be a little more aggressive with the red sketch. Can't let him dictate the momentum of the battle. Oh yeah. Because he's Hopefully got tricks. <laughs> Hopefully red sketch can bring it back somehow if he's got any ideas on what to do. Oh, he's got ideas. A nice little kissy face. Great dragon move. Now he's on okay. the grab game. Already starting to look strong. Like I said, he's got tricks. And he's just changed his style. Just a little bit. Husky. Obviously one of the top of Leaf, if not the top. But he, he has trouble adjusting. Uh. But he doesn't have trouble continuing his combos on the corner. That's for sure. Gets another confirm. Oh my goodness. Red Sketch, no breathing space to do what he wants to do. It's gonna be a wake up teleport to try to get out of this. Either belly flop or uh, reverse side. Nope. Ah. Uh, With every lesson comes understanding. Just one continuous aggression. The sketch couldn't do anything except for that one time. Yep. Again, Husky catches him with the cross up. 
Lick a little too committed. All right, so dual teleport looks nice, but you gotta you gotta do something with it. Oh, the lick wrong side. This is not looking good for good old Red Sketch. There was a time he got the flag. That time instead. Will Husky be able oh, to get a goodness. get a perfect? Oh, that hitbox well all the way behind. He got it. Takes it out with the perfect. That was really impressive from Husky. All right, let's so get to that a little bit there, but quick look at the brackets for everybody. We got our round three is our two matches, and we got losers bracket three matches already set up. So, all right, Ask Waffles, so you're gonna go over and take on the loser bracket. All right, again, people can catch that on a uh, QT twenty two. Then we will do the uh, probably go all the way to the semifinals and help out on loser bracket before we do the finals. All right. So we'll let you go. All right. I'll see I you will soon. see you later. All right, now, now that has been gone. This amateur crowd in my booth. Oh boy, here's a fight. You got two great fights lined up. Edbert versus Jaeger. It's gonna be Dragon Dragon. I'm expecting Dragon Dragon. Jaeger going freak would be pretty ballsy. I don't think his uh ugh, waffles. Oh waffles, you're you're adorable. Sweet summer child. Show me your power. Round one. Fight. Oh, Everett, going, uh. Going, uh, Velvet. Go out to think of that word. Was not expecting it. I know Everett and Jaeger have crossed paths before. Alrighty, Velvet's down to half health. He's not going to stay a Velvet long, I can guarantee you that. Or he's a spiteful bastard and he'll do it just because I said so. Or said he wouldn't. Rather. Magic Shatter gets him free. Now getting to play some of the range game. Tian just flips right back in. It should close it. Yep. Solid round from Jaeger. But not well enough. Clubs are off. Fight. Beautiful. Oh, that JC getting in. Felt it using push block. Get the nice set right here. Whoever says defense can't win matches hasn't seen Velvet play. Very complete turnaround. Solid response from Edward. Oh, the exchange. Shatter A. Good move. It's higher than it looks. All right, yeah, you're looking a little, little uh, frazzled. A little razzle dazzle. Good blockchain, but gets caught. No more and again. Bert hasn't been able to get his combo on, but Jaeger's already at half health. Impressive. And uh, Jaeger's having trouble getting in. His jump in, JC. Is... Oh, there it works. It's a big ask. He'll even it up, but gonna use a lot of resources 
There's level two. Oh, he drops it too. But blocks the wake up shatter. This, oh, he flew too long. He could have probably ended it right there. Alright, Velvet using all of her options. Magic was gone. It's finally rebuilt itself. It's able to bait out the super. Obvious uh, firecracker in was obvious, but he gets the JA. Oh, both these players need that one more confirm. Nice block of the cost canter, and he's gonna take it. Do not let defeat be the end. That was it almost seemed like he baited that block. He delayed right after that jab. Right, is Edward gonna switch? He had a great showing. Does he gonna want a Tien Tien? Where's Jaeger gonna be a madman and switch? Now just don't take it to training stage. It is Edward's pick. It is a high risk of happening. If I did yep, there we go. Training stage double dragons. Feel like we've been here before. Need those all the frames you can get. You can also just turn your backgrounds off. Everett starting out showing strong. Jaeger at half health. There's only two little chains for uh, from Everett that did the damage. Nothing too insane. Other than Tien being Tien. Jaeger drops it just for Everett to pick it up. And he drops it in turn. Jaeger's taking his shot. Keeping it very even. Good low, low, high. Oh, jeez. The instant JA after the block. These Tien's are all over each other. It all comes to... Who can get that cheeky block for the punish? <laughs> nice, nice forward medium. Even hell, I think it, uh, 5B does it. That's a nice solid start for Jaeger. But Edward had a similar solid start and Jaeger turned it around. I'm sure Edward's got the same potential. There goes his turn. I see. No more games. Huh. Right, now we're back to the footsies. Nope. Gets caught committing low. And that's gonna super finish. Yep, into the level. Level one. GG, WP. Yeah, there are a lot of TNs doing lad JC. What can you say? It's a good move. Everyone's JC is broken and needs to be nerfed. Except Paps. Reload the brackets, because, uh... Oh yeah, let me give a shout out to Waffles, just so he knows, or remembers to tell me the results. So that was Jaeger taking two very close games. It may say 2-0 on the scoreboard, but it's a lot closer than that. All right, next up we got Oscar and Husky. Another rivalry, budding rivalry. A little closer than the uh, the Coat Yeager rivalry that is taking uh, form. One day, one day Coat will be up there. Yeager has a lot of hours ahead of him, so it's all a matter of just catching up, getting that practice in. Now we've seen this match as both a, 
a semi-final for sure, and I think maybe even a final. I think Oscar sent Husky the losers once, and then Husky climbed back and won the grand final. I think that was Oscar's first appearance. Not 100% sure, but Oscar has that dominating corner position right now. Now well, that's one way to get out of the corner. Just have Mama send you all the way to the other side of the screen. Nice little fly in. Let it drop, didn't want to push it for an extra hit or two. Good read with the AA. Oscar's got the meter to spend, and he's gonna spend it. He wants to be up a match. Just confirm. I don't think Husky's gonna spend the super on it either. But it turned it into a one-hit gate. Oh, good cross-up. Wasn't able to continue it. Back to the footsies game. This is where it all matters. They're waiting for a commitment. And the firecracker again just sneaks in. Such dangerous range. Must be immediately in. Level one. Palm now in the corner. Knows how it feels. The infinite JC was given a shot, but backed off when it didn't work. Now Oscar's fighting tooth and nail. Palms 2C. Works miracles. Oscar actually on three bars of super. He can take this in the next match. He's got a very strong, strong position. But he can't lose. There he goes. Bad news for Husky. Oscar knows how to extend those supers. Get all three in the same combo chain. He gets the right hit. Commits to the launcher. Gets punished. Corner. This is the position he was looking for. Level two. Dog gonna keep it up with the bite and into level three. Or three level ones if you wanna get tactical. That's as mean as Palm gets. Barely any health left on Husky. And that's gonna take that first round. Oscar coming out ahead. My lovely little script. Did you catch that one? Let me uh, let me get this spectate on first. Reload. Yes, it did. All right. will defeat you so soundly your ancestors will become Round dizzy one fight <laughs> you know, we're to a neutral game here a little commitment with the firecracker but was able to back away before a, any sort of response both so players just swinging away just just showing they can do moves. Just finally getting in. Oh, 
Tom's turn. A little uh, six hit. If I get the cross up on the wake up. I heard a hit confirm, but I didn't see a hit confirm. That was a good uh, attempt by Palm to catch the reverse firecracker. Nice air grab. He's got a fair bit of defensive options to his skill set. He loves his cross canters. He's decent at the grabs. Lots of feints, like that one right there. But Oscar's got his own set. And that cross canter is going to open up Husky for, for the KO. Husky again catches the the first hit. He's playing his damage, playing it light. The palms in full swing now. Husky goes all the way into the corner. It's gonna be the full no no three supers, only one. Let's look at the wrong side of the screen. It's Husky sitting on three and he needs a chance to spend it. And I think Husky's going down to losers. This is going to be it. Oh no, he drops it, but catches with the kicker. And the puppies win the match. That's Husky down to losers. means we are on to the semifinals, and then you guys get to take a little break and cover yourselves. Jaeger versus Oscar. All right, Jaeger wants a little minute. Let him uh, get himself freshened up for his big debut, his big match, his little prom date. Let's see, what do we got going on here that's not? We got these three. Just those three. Oh, oh no, I canceled Spectate again. All right, in line to Spectate. Are they, yep, they went anyway. Okay, good. All right, so Oscar fought. The top Tien of the group now going for Tien number two. Ready? Fight. Clever girl, the skin being played versus uh, it's not fleece. Wool. Skins, the skins don't matter. There's only one best skin, and it's Paprikas. And right in the corner, Mama's out here to apply the pressure. Yeah, you needs those jump wake ups. Oscar knows knows the setups he needs to keep neutral wake ups just perfectly set up. You saw Jaeger waited for his wake up. He did his little uh, attack when he thought Palm was opened, and Mama came in with that second hit overhead even. Safest move I found against Oscar is to jump block if you can't teleport. And Tien can take that to another level with her firecrackers. Yeah, you're backing up. He's feeling the pressure. He needs his in. There's a JC that connects. Bet these dragons are wishing Salty did his job when he was playing earlier. There's the cross canter and ship out. There it is. 
solid round one from Oscar. Didn't mean to win. Palm wins. More so than I was expecting. And the, uh, they're invisible. There they go. I like the invisible fireworks. You really get to get to see the spectacle of it all. But enough about the spectacle, it's time for the show. Yeah, you're no doubt staying, staying Tien. What's this? What this mix up's gonna be now? He likes his JC openers, but Tom likes them well. Not this Tom specifically. So there's a few right there. First set goes to Jaeger. On well, the first combo. Tom's turn, getting again getting that full extension. When you see that chain of flutter kicks coming in, you know you're in trouble. Luckily, it's early in the match. The, uh, the follow-up three supers weren't there to uh, fully kill the dragon. There's the defense. Uh, gets caught on the backside. Jaeger, he's he's noticing his his ways in. He may have lost that fight, but I saw a real improvement. Starting to get another read. Oscar gonna mix it up, gonna stick with low attacks. Low attacks and cross us, but Jaeger's ready. Uh, nice, uh, nice volcanic crash in, whatever the quarter circle A is. But uh, he committed a bit too much and got punished for it. That's where Husky would often back off. If you're wondering why, there's your answer. It's not a guaranteed confirmant to your next combo hit. And Papa is going, no. He's going to get caught spinning. It's going to give Oscar the win. Tom is going to finals. Let's keep that script going. That broke again. All right, that's Oscar 2-0. All right, Oscar, you get to sit there, relax, and wait a while while we clean up the losers bracket. Let me see who's. All right, so Asquaffles is on Kaka and Vertigo. Oh, wow. Wait, 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 wait. The script says, oh no, okay, yes. It was 2-0 for Coat, so Coat is continuing on. Let me uh, give, give a buzzy buzz. Let Asquaffles take the top half of loser's bracket. I'll continue with the bottom once he finishes that match. Which means I will be spectating whoever wins this fight versus Coat. That's currently a, a Calamere with Kaka and Vertigo. And Vertigo just took it. I don't know if that was match one or two. We'll find out in a second. Yep, that was match. There they are. It looks like they're going again, so that was match one. Or it's a one-one. There are options. And where's our little coat? Coat sitting over there, wearing the crown, salty and husky, having a powwow. Rib sketch in the shame corner. He does get to continue on. Him and Salty need to play. And then the winner of them will go to fight Ebvert. Ebvert, where are you hiding? Oh, there you are. You're right there by the by the wagon. And 
Husky and Jaeger get a bit of a breather. Jaeger more so. He's got the finals of losers. Ebert calling out, calling out Oscar. See, he's got to climb through, through this entire bracket to get there. Salty complaining about having the dragons and losers? I thought, I thought you were craving the dragon battles. You had all the answers. Yeah, if you did a lot of things. If you did a lot of things. I don't think uh, Paprika would have been your better choice, though, versus Oscar. I've been down that road. Gaku wishing people luck. Power the taco people. Is Edward? Edward, are you a Mexican descent? I thought you were uh, Asian, given your Asian characters. I don't know who else he could be talking to. Oh, Oscar, that's right. Oscar is indeed Mexican. That's what I thought, yeah. Uh, Argentinian. I mean, that, mm, basically the same. Implying white. So this match is looking at going into round three for the Cal Mirror. If you want to watch it, you can go to QT22. I'll let him have his have his spotlight. I won't radio cast it. Or offended? Have a Tian Wu. Tian Wu. What is that shit on her head? Is it supposed to be like a wolf helmet? I can't see that, that's tiny. Oh, Twitch icons. That's true, uh... Oh, I get that, Everett. <laughs> I just don't know what... Is that supposed... Oh! I guess that's supposed to be her flame mohawk and no wings. It's a shitty little uh, TN icon that I'm not going to bother putting in posts for all you YouTube viewers because I know. I know you YouTube video viewers just watch your own matches, so there's no point. You can go to the Twitch log, you know where it is. Speaking of, we've been at this for how long? About an hour. Hour and some minutes. Going through it pretty quick. Wait, they're going again? That doesn't seem right. That doesn't seem right at all. I'm confused. Script, what do you say? Tell me your secrets. It's 1-1. One, one, and it's locked. Have to let the script do its thing, see what happens, and then Waffles will tell me what what is going on. So I guess they are in for another fight. Ah. Dr. Boris F. Tell me they're all there you got one one. Gotta find a room and do a lot of resets. Uh, might be having a little bit of issues. Well, let's see. I would uh, fight somebody kill time, but I never know when this match is going to end. I mean, they just started. Not, I'm not here to fight. Not today. That's the neat thing. Do I have any salt? I have zero salt. I have zero everything, including ping. It's great. Is anyone up here hiding? We have a lot of people. I don't see you all by the campfire. Nope, oh, no one over there. No 
ones in the mines. Just killing time talking bullshit. Oh, speaking of bullshit, I guess, uh, I guess I'll take this moment to catch up with the thread. See what you, uh, you degenerates are up to. Sure, it's all innocent fun. Uh oh, we got a special summon in the thread. In fact, uh, let me see. I fought Mayor a uh, long time ago when he first started playing. I haven't played him since, I don't think. I played Leg Horse, Delone, uh, Dom, Mr. Ree, and quite a few other pets. I haven't been fighting up with, the, or keeping up with the, uh, the main fight community as much as I used to. It's kind of a shame, but. These things don't organize themselves. Up. Up for the past like 24 hours, get that hype video ready. Last minute's how we do things at the QT. Uh oh, where's about classic cow finish? Was it wake up super? I don't know, I looked like I saw a headbutt when I switched over. All right, so. And Vertigo took it. So that means we got in Vertigo and Coat. Let me get out of the way. Yep, already in line. Ah, Coat working off the three bars, and Vertigo's still at the three. He may be getting close to four. He's been around a long time. I don't know how much he plays. He has seemed to drop off for a bit. But he keeps coming back for the tournaments. That's the important part. Like my pa always says. And, uh, Coat, whatever you do, don't listen to Boris. Ready? Fight. Something, something. Scrub, something, something. You are fighting a cow. He's getting getting good control of this match right now. Even gets the uh, velvet jingles coming in over the music. Making good use of the range play, but uh, flailing the JA, it does connect. Vertigo not able to close the distance. Oh, teched out and he waits for it. That's just proper manners. You let Velvet do her little spins, feel stupid, and then you hit her. But you end up feeling stupid in return when she beat, takes the round from you. And Coke can give Thracker a run for his money, or are you talking about effort? There, Jaeger. Coat. Coat's got some, uh,. Some rush down in his blood that probably gonna get him beat by Jaeger, but or not Jaeger, by Thracker. Who plays way more defensively. Vertigo getting a good solid set there. Now we're back to the range. Using that dash to get in on the other side, gets the rope. And baby's put in the corner. And good, he reads the, the obvious Shatter C overhead. Very good headbutt too. Oh no, Code, I think uh, I think your number's been caught. Uh, I thought that rope would have hit. Now he takes it with the headbutt. Hmm. 
Hmm. Dr. Force, the finest of backseat driving scrubs. All right. And one of these days, we'll let you host the shit show. Give all the advice. You and Wilkie take over. Me and Thracker take a vacation. Coat got his level one already. Half health for Arizona. Now in the corner. Vertigo got his level three. Level two, rather. Tech wake up for the JA. Works. Oh, there it is. The dash super. Whenever Cal has meter, you, you push a button. There's a good chance that super's coming out. Just like that. That was a good read by Coat, jumping away. And he's got, huh, yeah. Proper move from both of them. Try to chip out with the ice. Arizona dashes forward and Co responds with the jab. I'd say that was the correct call from both of them. Just happened to go Coach's way. Close match. Uh, scripts, you have broken again. Gotta push this reload button more than I had to before. All right, Coat got the first round. I'll just put that in myself. Coming at you. But in Vertigo, Ready? far from being out. Fight. Playing very defensively this time. Trying to switch it up, maybe uh, keeping Vertigo guessing. He did play defensively last match. It seems even more so. That's working for him. Trying for the uh, explosions. Oh, that was a perfect ice setup, buddy. Drop the block. There it is. Round one for Velvet. One more to go. Oh, climbing his way up the losers. Vertigo needs an answer. Super is a good answer, but you can't use it all the time. I uh, expected the roll. Good read. And good read on that combo chain. That rope? Get her back in that corner. There you go. Top of the JA. Keeping deer free. So it's got the space. That super should be coming. Nope. Got teched out. But there it is. Oh, caught jabbing. Good old cow. Oh, but the icicle's gonna finish it. GG. Coat goes on to round three. All right. Now, Coat versus Husky. Let's see what uh, what Coat can do versus the Dragon. He knows cow matchup, but. Dragon matchup? I think he's a little, uh, a little inexperienced. We'll have to see. Now, I obviously give the, uh, give the results to Husky, but... I want to see how Coach is going to go through with this. 
I know he can get Husky to half health. Can he take a round? That's gonna be tough to see. Once he's set in the corner, he's probably screwed. Just from the way he likes to push buttons. And here he comes. Little combo, staying the same, but it's work. it works. Got that Shatter C. Lots of rolling. Now he just keeps putting them right back in. Got the roll jab. Husky was waiting for it, but he was slow on the uptake. Nice explosion, catches him off and throws the super at it. There's the half health of Husky. That uh, neutral C or neutral B, and a few hits. If he had another super saved up, he could take Dragon. That's just gonna be one mistake. There it is. Close. Yet you have much to learn. Round two. And Coat realized he needs to... Oh no, he's jumping right back in. So I said that he needs to back off, get those super chains, because that's where he's getting most of his damage. Oh, and he tried to swing. His icicle had him covered. Here comes Dragon Airlines. Oh, we're not done yet. Just two more. Good opener. Carries it with the snowflake. Well done. And now it's the problem. He doesn't have any more meter. He needs to stay alive to build that next super. And if he can get it, he can get the rounds. Oh no, the lag. Not like this. Not like this, Wi Fi. There's the confirm. It's over for Coat. Husky could drop it. His internet could aid him. But no, that's... This is a practice dragon. Yep, Husky did take him on that dragon coaster. He unleashed the full dragon force. The ice was melted by the fire and flames. References, I could keep going. If Dandar can almost win, Ko can do it too. That's truer words, truer words. Yeah, I, I saw the lag as a spectator. There's a, there's gotta be some delay between these two, for sure. Arcanel Simulator, Nagaku's pulling the plug. Would Nagaku be aiding Coat though? Or would he just strictly uh, strictly back Oscar? Well, Coat is another Velvet, so I think he would. He might be doing some Mexican magic. Oscar, not giving the Coat the chance this time. He's going all aggression. I'm trying to keep at that deceptive range. You think you're safe. Then that firecracker comes in. Is he gonna spend the super on it? Nope. I wouldn't think he would. Code, on the other hand, I would advise against it, but he might just, just to have that damage. Oh, he's not gonna get the chance. A match well fought, but not well enough. Husky may very, very well have been baiting those eruptions. This coat still uh, needs a little bit of practice with the dragon punch motion. But he's doing well for himself for how many hours he has in this game. 
Even if he's on the dragon coaster, it's the top dragon. We've all been there, all of us. But some of us can take games off huskies. Well done. Again. Flying dragon. Always a treat to get get with the velvet super. Funny enough, Husky looked like he thought he could just bully his way through the super rather than drop his flight and guard. No more games. Good use of cross counter there. Saw the uh, the heavy follow up, but did not get the use of that red health. That's gonna be it. Coke gets around. I hold you accountable for any damage done to my flute. Everyone has gotten better. Final it's good to see. Oh no! Uh, don't drop. Okay, a little bit of lag, but seems to have Impressive. smoothened out. Nope. We're in. Uh, we're gonna get to see all the frames now. Oh no, we're good. We're good. If it's lagging this bad, uh, advantage the husky, he just has the muscle memory. Muscle memory and game knowledge, nobody has to react against. Still drops that, uh, super. And it must be bad. He looking for a confirm. Coat looking to keep away. It's good to call because he's got three supers. He can take this. Oh, he dropped it. He's in the corner. He's going to get a super in the face. Right there. GG. Well fought. An effort was made. Like a moth to the flame. Ooh, that's a... That was special. <laughs> I want to see if the stream picked that up. Yeah, it did. All that flashing and... Got to hear that it was a good match over three times. Fight just broke the entire... Entire game itself. Uh, we've really uh, thinned out now. Let's see, what do we got? Oh, Husky, we're waiting for Edvert and Salty, who are currently underway. Uh, Salty's bitching, so I, I guess that's over. All right, let me, uh, let me jump in on Waffles here. Howdy. Let's go. No, yeah. not that sketch. Might be. The script's all caught up, so. All right. Hello. Everett took it. Hello, hello. Hi. We are fast approaching the finals. And we got three dragons leading in to fight Oscar. He is not escaping a dragon confrontation. But I'm pretty sure Oscar's used to dragons by right now. He is, but Husky did beat him. He, Oscar's oh, not a. I don't think he's won one as first place. He's only finished second from a comeback Husky. All right. All right, well. So we have... Edvert and Husky. Edvert and Husky. Right. Edvert and Husky. You're up. Here we go. On to fight Jaeger. I think I spectated you. Oh, did you? You're not fighting oh, no. anybody today. No three. Too rusty. I hope you have been keeping up with Oh man. Ooh, that's uh some complimentary colors there. <laughs> For sure. Alright, let's see some dittos. Impressive. Alright. Yeah. Go playing really safe. Yep. Husky well known for it. Everett was saying in his match with Jaeger, he uh, used to make use of those dashes more. Maybe we'll see him try to incorporate that. His air dashes specifically. 
Oh, here we go, Evan with the first confirm. Now it's my turn. Little trade, cheek trade. Oh man. I am so jelly of that backwards cartwheel into the attack. Oh yeah, it's scary. Very scary. Scary and delicious at the same time. It's like a cinnamon roll. Oh. <laughs> uh, who can fly higher? And it's, spoilers, it's Tien. Oh yeah. Husky's delivering. About even. Oh man. Never kicking Ever. him right out of the air. Is he gonna super for this? You can try to close this out right now. Good. Level two. He's going for it. Doesn't drop it. He's got it. And the round's over for Everett. With every lesson comes Husky's going into the. Husky's going to second round with two supers though. Is but he's uh he'd rather not win with supers. He likes to use that for cross canters oh. and supers for kill. So if you ever wondered what the uh, the top of the maps look like, we're gonna get get the full picture here. Oh yeah, like right now. <laughs> yeah, you actually take in the full appreciate the value of those alpaca heads. If you didn't know what they were, just sitting there in the background. Oh man, Everett's really behind on the health right now. He's gonna play it safe. Ooh, a nice firecracker forward to kick him out of the air, but just gets the one hit and rightfully backs away. Husky switching oh. up from flight for super jump. If he keeps this going, this could be it. Yeah, he's got this. No, he oh, doesn't want a oh. super. Oh, okay. He'll just do that cheeky little maneuver. Not a warrior yet. One of Husky's favorites. All right. And um, to answer uh, Giddy's question, the Everett guy, he is not new. He's not Korean also, but uh, he's one of the beta boys, one of the early uh, Tianho players. Ooh, the grab tech. Very nice grab tech. So this is a, a match of some high-level TNs. Yeah, lots of just, just them flying around, getting some hits. Yeah, some say uh, TN matches are boring because it comes down to game of footsies, but I find them highly entertaining for that reason. Exactly for that reason, yeah. Whereas uh, a mirror match like Velvet or Velvet is awful. Just, oh, <laughs> just a spam fest and paprika, paprika is too much chaos to follow. With every lesson, oh man! Comes understanding. But this, you got a idea what's going on, and Ember takes it. From here, it's over now. The first match. Last round was seemed pretty dominant. It always goes back and forth between these two. There we go. Who? Uh... Jaeger sent Everett to losers, so he's looking for a rematch. Husky and Jaeger fight all the time. Come, show me your power. Do not get to see uh, fight. Oscar versus Everett. Who's to say how that match will go? I'd be interested to see. Hurry. Hurry. Now it's my turn. But Everett's gotta make sure he wins against Husky if he wants to do that. Well, he's already got the one win. All he needs to do is win another. This shouldn't be that hard, right? Yeah, all you gotta do is not fuck up. Easy. Like... Ooh, synchronized dragon ends in Everett's favor. Caves him into the corner. Husky wants out of there. Ever good read. Does the uh, JA just to put 
Let's get on the defensive and then. Uh, volcanic cr bashes or crashes or volcanic smashes in response before Husky can retaliate. Oh. And there oh, it is again. Lots of straight hits. Takes him out. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, quite the daily dose right here. Purple dragon got the green dragon. This is good. Well done. Again. Oh man. Husky looks like he's got a lot of trouble. Looks like he might. Got a... Well, he's not, not out yet. He can use his opportunity. Yep, he's gonna combo him and make him waste his level 2 for the most part. He's going to use it at level 2, but these hits are working towards his next meter. He, yep, there it is. So he's he's pretty much on even grounds. Edvert tries to jump, and he gets caught out. What is Juggle Decay? This could kill. Just got to keep it going. Oh, the oh. Tien Super. This could be it. Oh. Husky might be out. Of all the ways. It happens again. Oh, oh he drops oh. it! Anything Husky's got a chance! Anything can happen! Come on, Husky! I want to see this go on! There he goes! Oh, my Holy goodness. shit! Pixel of health! Yet. You have much to learn. Was close. Oh my goodness. Fucking hell! Everett cannot be happy, and neither can Husky. Well, I guess Husky's happy he did get the win, but that drop, it shouldn't have been that close. Everett must be so salty right now. Yeah, they both had a crucial drop. I think it's only fair Husky gets another shot. I'm pretty sure he had that round. This is the point of the tournament. He got the nerves. You gotta fight the lag to an extent. Yep. All part of the skills, but... Everett commanding lead right now. Everett's mad. <laughs> oh! Oh, just... Kicks him right out. No more games. Firecrackers, the volcanic bash. I believe that's the quarter circle medium one. A worthy opponent. Almost had the uh, punish. Again, catches with the, uh, the firecracker into the quarter circle A. And that's going to be it. it. That's it. And that's it. Ebert takes it. Husky's out. Husky's not even going to finish in the running for the first time. No art prizes for you today, sir. Someone else gets a chance. Oh, man. Good fight. Damn good fight. And we're going right back into the next TN mirror. Jaeger vs. Evert. The rematch. Oh, I expected you again. I'll throw out a GG. Uh, I won't throw out anything. They can't help it, Giddy. They gotta have the edgy skins. Oh. Jaeger doesn't do edgy skins. He's usually... Jaeger's a wholesome boy. He, he randoms, I think, the way he's... He jumps skins. I will there is the Okami. Your ancestors will become dizzy. Okami, Okami skin. Okami. Everett also jumping into. I can't tell if that's the Spyro one or some awful maniac wannabe. I did not realize that was an Akami skin. Ever coming out offensive. Now Jaeger, he's he's the aggressive one, and he put Everett in losers. Oh man, more Tandero's. There's some really intense footies going on. It's Illidan. Huh. Oh, from Hedward. Yeah. I would never have guessed. Oh, 
Yeah, see, that's what I'm saying. It looks. Uh, no, but skin. We got the got Jaeger on one hit from death. Just gotta fight for we'll it. This is a count match. This could go. Up. This yeah, could he... go any way. And that's the way it's going, JC. Like a moth to the flame. Now, um, Jaeger really likes to jump in, JC, to start his combos and very good move, but it's also easily blocked. Now he's going JA. While well, Edward's the one oh. going JC. So he gets the JC twice and tries for a third one. Greedy little so and so. Ah, oh, but Edward gets to confirm into a combo. Oh, get out of there. I think of all the dragons. Jaeger is the one that will push his uh, confirms to to the risky extremes. Or Husky's definitely cautious and Everts somewhere in the middle, I would say. Let's see if AJ yeah, can do something like that right now. Hey, if you're gonna, if you're gonna commit, oh, high risk, high reward. Oh, it's just gonna keep going. Level three. Evens up that health. Oh man, have to use up all of his super fours though. Yeah, but he got that uh, very good block, push block into a confirm, and this will not kill. Very close. Oh, he had the jab, but didn't follow. Anything will do it. Yep. There we go. With every lesson comes understanding. Now, Jaeger is definitely going to have the chance to build up the meter he needs to take this round. He's already almost at one. He'll get two pretty quickly. Everett might be looking to. No, oh, he's not going to go to, not one. yet. Save that. He wants a better uh, combo chain. Good tech and dodge. Keep those combos to a minimum. Oh, man. Again, it's the exchange of JCs, but the JA is the one that opens up. You just got him in the corner. Oh, he catches the wake up, but Everett being smart, letting this jungle decay keep him safe. Yeah, you're going offensive with the red health. Fully punished for it. This could be it. Oh, another drop, super. He's just abusing that flight for the infinite JCs, but if Jaeger keeps this going, he, he can could finish. Up. This could be another game lost to a drop super. Now he also oh. drops. He didn't have the right angle, and he gets oh. jabbed low. A match well fought, but not well enough. Player one wins. Two from here. KO. But that's only 1-1. One, one. Oh, man. That was close again. Could have gone either way. We're absolutely intense. So Everett did deserve that one. He uh, he dropped the super again. It's gonna it's becoming a real problem here. If fighting is sure to then Jaeger also dropped his. I guess the nerves are getting fight. to him. It's understandable. You're fighting for another shot at winning. This is going to be the last match for either of them, if one of them loses. No, wasn't that a 1-0? Oh, was it? I think it was. Uh, chat, you'll have to remind me because I have bad memory in the script. It's not catching this one yet. Ooh. Actually, I could. Let's see. Oh, for the most part. Ever looking dominant for the first round. Yes, that was the first round. Okay, okay. So it's so one out. Alright, yep. alright. You can actually check the uh, the fight log in the scripts, but... Missed the entire fight in the meantime. 
Everett seemed mostly dominant in that round. He definitely had the health advantage by far. He's got the win advantage. This is do or die for Jaeger right now. He's gonna wants to do whatever he can just to take this one round. And this is wow. not the answer he needs sitting in the corner. Everett keeps pushing and pushing. There's so much pressure. Level two. Follows the wall stick. Very nice. And yeah, you're immediately pushing buttons to try to react, but that just sets you up. That's it. That is it. Two o for Everett. And Yeager's out. Which brings us to the final. Oscar versus Everett. Now, Oscar only needs to win three matches. Everett needs to win six. This is the pain of going through loser's bracket. Get up here. Get the spectate on. There we go. Let's see, Everett. Ever talked a big game? I want to see his uh, response to Oscar's palm. I also want to see if he will stay Tien. I'm hoping he stays Tien, but he might go Velvet. Velvet has uh, some decent answers to palm. Yep. Can really keep their distance. But Ever wants the win, no doubt. Do I have to nope, going Dragon. There you go. Ooh. This match is going to be a lot more different than the other two. Yeah, I'm expecting a very aggressive effort here. Keep Oscar from getting his setups. Good jabs on the shepherding. Or sheep herding. Oh, he is just on him unrelentlessly. Looking good for Everett, but he's got a lot of matches to make up. Oh, yeah. And that's one of them down. A, match well a lot more to go. Well Oscar could take all these rounds that he has to just try and adapt to Everett. To learn. I don't know how often these two face off against each other, but I'm sure they uh, they've passed, they've crossed paths more than once. Oh, here we go. Just completely relying on that JC, then I dragging out of the air, get the bounce, and then it's just chain flutter kicks. Ooh, okay. Ever gets the hell out of that corner. Yeah, very good play. Get away from Mama. Get away from that corner. Bring Oscar back to the middle game where he's weak. Again, JC, flutter carry. Right back into the corner. He's gonna go all out for this. Almost dropped it. It still keeps it going. Three supers. And that's it. There's a point where you gotta say Palm is cheating. Yeah. That juggle to KO is maxed out three times over. That puppy keeps him up. No more games. Oscar Schoen, he has answers. Stereotypical JC. Already built up a super really quick there. Yeah, and Oscar's just, or, um, Everett's sitting on three. He's not getting a chance to spend it. There's a cross canter. That's a good way to spend it, get yourself free. He needs to keep that pressure back. Good judge on his distances. He knew he couldn't follow up that combo. He let it sit and just happened to catch Oscar. Let's see if you can do anything with this. 
Ooh, gets the tech. Hey, oh my goodness. Nice. 1 0. Forget the script, I'm doing this manually. I will forget as we go forward. It's a lot of fights. Uh, some intense matches for the grand finals. This could be uh, Sheep's first victory, or we go from Oleander timeline into Tian timeline once again. Please be gentle with me. Round one. Fight. Lots of just straight hits on this neutral. Oh. Oscar gets Ali the connects. first. Good block string. Cat launcher is the one thing that always gets me at the end. Everett's ready for it, has the push block ready, and has his answer to get in. And here comes the juggle. Oh man. He's gonna get himself out of there. The palm plays. Oh. Use Oscar's aggressiveness against him. Very good reads on this corner play. We're lively getting those uh, those grabs when Oscar's going in high. Rolling away to jump back in when Oscar's trying to push his advantage. Do not let defeat be the end. Fantastic. Round two. Husky rooting for Everett. Keep the dragon, dragon bloodline strong. To I uh, gotta admit, to a point I'm rooting for him as well because if Palm manages to win a tournament, that means Fabrica's the only one to not have. You can't have Ooh. best Taka be last. But Everett does have, what, five more rounds to beat? He has a lot of rounds, but uh, it's very close to losing this one. He can spend two meter to make it up, but might as well just save it unless he thinks he can kill. There's the confirm. That might be a level two right here to finish it. No, he drops it. He drops it. Oh uh, man, and Oscar takes it. It's his round. Got him with the cross canner. You get to stop now. Final round. Fight. A little bit of footsies here. Really cautious play from both players. Getting the pressure with uh, Chopper Dog, but already used one of the bites. There's number two. Oh, oh. JC. It's gonna carry him into the corner here. This is not where Edward wants to be. It's not. He could really use a win, keep that momentum going. Uh, Oscar's doing what he used against Huskies, just staying around that, that big mama. Let Tien come in, get the counter. Oh. And the corner of pain. Oscar looking really this is dumb over. This oh my goodness. Gonna juggle up and call the super. Oh, he dropped it, but I don't think Husky's gonna, or uh, Everett's gonna take a whole health bar off. He can take as many uh, cross canters as he wants, but. Oh. Uh. Little kicker doggy. Bring in the victory. That's 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Two more for Oscar and it's over.
So a bit back and forth. Hard to say. This might go all the way again. Yeah. Just gonna watch what happens. Yeah, put your bets now while it's even. You gonna see sheep? Is the lamb gonna make it? There's dragon once again. Let me queen a QT. Is that a cross up? No, that was a. Uh, it was just a, um, a flutter kick that went. I love. No, it was a cross up. The JC oh. got him. Um, very nice. Absolutely there. Just gonna want to keep this going as far as he can. It's not super time yet. He can win this with neutrals. Not, not if he keeps dropping it, though. Oscar's just gonna capitalize on his drop combos. And he's gonna take this all the way. He might even spend the super to win. Yep. It's not gonna be enough, but he can just follow it up right away. Oh! Oh, this yep. is really close. Just a pixel, and there it is. Mama oh, gets the bite. Mama Shark! The sucker dick! <laughs> what about the end? To everyone watching, just remember, Salty could have put an end to this. He could have taken Oscar out, he looked dominant, and then... His ass is grass. Ooh. Oscar, looking stronger than ever. Here we go. Goodness. Full on. Oh, it actually drops. He didn't have the puppy to extend. But he doesn't, oh, it doesn't need it. Matter. Giant JC. One more win for Oscar and that's it. Things are looking down for the Tians. Even if Everett won this one, he's got an endurance battle to deal with. I hope you yep. have been keeping up with your training. Ready? But if he at least takes the next two matches, he can make it an even playing field. Give Oscar some of the uh, pressure. But right now, Oscar can feel pretty complacent. He just needs one win for the whole thing. Uh, chat, I agree with a lot of things you are saying right now. I'm too focused on the fight to reply to him. Ever looking to get perfect at it here. He's got to have a hit in him somewhere. Oh man, just anything will do. I think it looks like Ebert's just taking a second. He needs to think about his approach. Yeah. He's a little shaken. There he goes. He wants to keep this going. Uh oh. Cheeky exchange, which ends in Palm's favor. One more oh, round. Man. Do or die. Oscar's got to win this one for sure. If he doesn't, it's over. Come on, yeah, Oscar. Everett. Everett needs to win. All right, that's right. Everett might be. Oh, man. That's not a good Oscar. start. Here we go. Oh, oh man, this is not looking good at all. He's trying to punish. Mama was still there. Mama protect. Mama attack. Nice confirm. He's gotta hit this hard. 
Got to level two. You have to immediately pick it up again and hit that level one. Kicks the doggy out of the sky. Got this. Catches palm calling dogs. Starting to get a bit of momentum back. This is what he wants. Just needs this wake up. One good confirm for Palm is the end of it. One good confirm for Edward takes us into another match. Oh, that's scary. That's that cross up. Big Papa cross up, and this is gonna be the end of it. Man, that's it. And she takes QT. Congratulations, Palm with Oscar. A new era, the dragon truly has been defeated. This is the second Palm tournament. Cream. Oleander into Palm. Everyone gets a turn. Come on, Paprika. You got it. Congratulations, Oscar. QT finalist Palm, you give her her first tournament. Oh, yeah. Dragon timeline brought to a close, or at least a halt. Still three very good dragons loitering around. So with that, let me get to the brackets. Submit scores. That's a one, three. Into Oscar's favor and the tournament. Switching over to the bracket page. And here we go. The whole, whole trial. Oscar taking first place. Edvert in second. Jaeger in third. Husky in fourth. Salty and Coat. Coat making it to fifth place. They're sharing that title. Nice. Red Sketch and Vertigo at seventh. And then Kaka, Sparkles Fantastic, and Lucens Note in ninth place. Congratulations to Oscar for bringing the Palm timeline into fruition. Congratulations to all our players. We had a really good sets of fight today. It's a great tournament. Oh, yeah. And let me uh, find my reminder notes so I know who does what now. Where are you? There you are. All right. So for those of you, i.e. Edbert, who might not be aware, uh, for first place to Oscar, you will receive a commission from Invertigo. Do I have this right? Yes, you'll get one from Invertigo. Then Edvert, you will receive a commission from Azimuth. And Jaeger, you got Thracker. If uh, you don't know who to reach, you can just get in touch with me. I can put you in the right direction. Pass on your quest or get you in touch with them. Hooray. Hooray. Free art for the winners. Indeed, and as we said in the intro, the only name that matters today is Oscar. The other two, good fights, but your first losers, oh, no yeah. one's going to remember. Well, only I'm going to remember the palm. Yep, I'll remember the death of the dragon. Now let's see, we've had Oscar in here before, uh, once or twice. So let's see... Edvert, would you like to join us in uh, Discord for a quick cheeky interview? Uh, one sec, I can't hear you. I have my voice muted. All right, you can go ahead. Ooh, looks like Oscar can't make it into... Yeah, that's all right. All right, Oscar, thanks for coming. Congratulations again. We'll catch you around. Uh, Edward, I do not think I have you on Discord. Let me, uh, I can grab you from the FF. And then this guy's showing up. Candle coming in out of nowhere. He is for Edward. That's good enough for me. Man, 
there's a lot of people on here. What? He's not there? Where, where are you? What's your name? Yeah, I'll do this this way. Uh, if I do this, does that show up on stream? Uh, it looks like it doesn't. Hmm. I'll just send him a friend request on Steam and get him that way. I can turn this back off. He did he get sent? He's accepted. Let's get you with our quick link. Uh, we need to go to the general room so he can see us. All right. Wait, people. Copy. All right. And then let me. Uh, do this little taggy tag. Go on there. Hello, Edward. Uh, I'm here. How Welcome. are you, sir? Yes, I'm doing really good, actually. Yeah, that's good to hear. You did a very good fight and um, really quick, for those who don't know, why don't you go a, a short one or two sentences of who you are? Catch them up. Well, um... For everyone who doesn't know me for any reason, uh, I'm one of the original people that stream the game when uh, early release, uh, early access came out. And I've been playing this game since uh, close beta, so I've been actually grinding myself out, out of this game. I'm mostly on the shadow part of the community, but uh, I tend to appear from time to time on on Twitch and some other tournaments. Yeah, I've caught you from uh, caught your stream from time to time. I always do it uh, incognito. But yeah, I've seen you stream. I've uh, seen you in other people's streams, and I've fought you quite a few times myself back in the early days of beta. Which uh, I do. I am surprised to see you here. I'm. Uh, I gotta know. Yeah, you Who, came out of nowhere. Where that? I, mean, uh, uh, I came out of nowhere because. Um, Somebody linked me to the thread on 4chan, link, okay. linking that they posted my uh, Oleander painting, the Oleander ah. with the, the demon stuff, and I was interested in commentaries. So you I drew the fat uh, Oleander. Now it all no, makes sense. I hate Oleander, but I love drawing her. Ah, uh, typical <laughs> unicorn. <laughs> I, I hate her personality, everything. <laughs> <laughs> Unicorn apologists. I'm trying to go for uh, Velvet now, but it's still really inconsistent on matchup experience. Yeah, so, you had uh, you had some good strong combos, but I gotta ask. Uh, I kind of have a feeling most of us are expecting the same, but who is a uh, best only, girl? It's only two two main combos depending on your magic and one corner combo, and that's. It. She does 2600 damage from three magic and one super. Mm. Yeah, her level it's one super is good. Two combos on your dead. Wow. Yeah, well, That's she can pretty far. Shut a, a 5D into super for 28 for 1800 damage. Three hits. Three home frames. Everything. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. uh. That's kind of like a code that special is a part there. of her log stream. So. You can get it accidentally. So I got to know who is best girl. Hmm. Personality wise, or just overall, balance? who's number one of the TFH cast? Uh, I've seen Paprika is round start animation, and she's not number one. Not number one. Oh, that, that's oh, that was awesome. Fierce words. Yeah. Someone's not coming back. <laughs> uh oh. Um, I actually. Well, Arizona is one year old. So. It's just literal child. <laughs> so we cannot go from there. Yeah, my pick is actually Tianhe. 
I think she's a uh, big surprise. Now, experience enough. Would yeah. second place? Would that go to Velvet yeah. or perhaps perhaps someone else? You got the sheep, and I think you eliminated everyone else. Hmm. Second place. If you couldn't pick Tianho, would it be Velvet or sheep? I couldn't pick Tian because she's dead. She yeah, is dead. They, they deleted her. Mm. Oh. Oof. They uh, will. They are. They are centrally baking some nerds for her. Mm -hmm. I want her to not be able to super jump into flight to escape from everything. That is actually uh, un uninteractive with the game, so it's totally a bad. Yeah, thing she can. She... she can take the whole battlefield away just flying yeah, up. It's. It's. Uh, no, I'm. I'm escaping the corner. So I problem that I, that I have with Oscar is that when I try to super jump. The pre-block on 2C is actually so high that I cannot jump, and I always get cheap by 2C. So she's had her, uh, she's had her moment of heavy nerfs. Oliander's had her moment of heavy nerfs. I'm waiting for uh, Palm, Palm and Velvet to get their share. Oliander, Oliander didn't have uh, big nerfs. Basically, the the thing that Oliander made her strong, strong because she's not on a good place, was that. She could uh, aerial uh, full screen 50 50 left right. Mm -hmm. uh, they didn't got a wave. Uh, they didn't get her uh, that away. So she still can do that. You will never do a ground teleport now because it goes magic. So all you did was make Velvet and Oleander's match really worse. I mean, it's 70% yep. to Velvet and Oleander cannot do anything because she Ooh. cannot fight the icicles. You cannot destroy them before they destroy your projectile. I think, uh, I know a few people who would argue otherwise, but generally overall I agree with that. Yeah, I, I know who you're talking about, but I, I have experienced so much and talked about this so much, about this so many times. Yeah, well, we're, uh, no worries, we're, we're not the place for tryhards here. We got good fighters, but we just, uh, bullshit yeah. and have fun. I'm all up for uh, teaching people some combos and have fun because when two people are like equal or even learning, uh, it's actually pretty fun. I like to play Oscar because I always learn a lot of things. Yeah, he he is a fun fight. He's he he he's a very Okiseme player because once he set up his. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's actually really, really hard to block them. Yes, it is. It is. Oh, yeah. It's even more hard to block them on 200 things because it's the curse of living in South America. Yeah, and which uh, actually brings a point. We got someone in chat asking if you are uh, Chilean or Argentinian. I'm in the middle of Argentina, but every 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 condition in Argentina or South America gets rerouted to Miami, so we have 200 ping by default. Oh. I cannot play with a person 1,000 kilometers from me <laughs> because we have 400 ping. Oh, but I can play with crazy. someone from Miami. That's right. Oh, I learned something today. GGPO is a blessing. Every game that has GGPO is good on netplay. All right. So, uh, we'll throw. Um, actually, ask Waffles. Do you got any uh, questions before I throw out one more? Um. No, I think I'm good. This was really interesting. All right. Well, Everett, I got a... Oh, oh, yeah, continue, Waffles. Oh, what's that? Oh, were you saying something? Uh, no. No, okay. Second gear is actually Palm. Mm-hmm. Because in my head canon, she's actually the the owner of Palm Who. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. that's, that's fanon. That, that, that's someone, so that is head canon, but whatever. All right, one last question, then we'll let you go, Everett. Uh, out of all the people you fought this tourney, who do you want to talk shit about? Talk shit? Hmm, let me see the brackets. Yeah, who, who do you want to talk <laughs> shit, and who do you possibly want to get uh, hit? Um, okay, I fought in Vertigo. In Vertigo was... A cow? Yes, he was a cow. Yes. Jaeger is, well, Jaeger beat me on my first uh, Velvet just barely because I I, mm -hmm. I tend to drop a lot of combos with Velvet. 
and on pressure on nervous nervousness with Yang Ho too, but that is to be taken. So the second match I went for Tian and I couldn't adapt fast enough to his playstyle as Tian because it because it's completely different if you go from Soner, Soner in quotation mark because you actually can pressure better than Aprika. Yeah. Which is sad. It's sad that she can do that. Aprika is um, still the best. Uh, I don't know. I want to talk shit about Oscar because holy shit, I'm going to beat him. <laughs> He's always been the player that I couldn't beat. One I, day. I, I was actually coming here to this tournament because uh, I, from everyone that I saw uh, the last the last weekend, I saw Husky with being, win by a lot, and I saw okay, if Husky is the winner of this match, this is free. <laughs> oh, that, that's free, and, and then I saw Oscar. I say, oh fuck. That was a. Uh, there's your talk shit right there. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but that is good. I am actually up for matches, and I get if I. It's even better if I get my ass beaten because I learn. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, we will indeed have to get you to fight Candel, perhaps <laughs> in a future QT for Ultimate Showdown. Uh, for the record, yes, I I beat Candel and Daka. So, yeah, well, we'll be looking forward to seeing that end end this no <laughs> loss timeline. I'm, I'm I'm ready for it. To... <laughs> Talking shit to everyone. Mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> All right, we're with, uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. Brian, yep. thank you. Thank you for having me. Yep. All right. And then other than that, we are pretty much done here. Congratulations to everyone. I'll post in the thread. And again, if uh, you forget your art people or don't know how to get in touch with them, just talk to me. And other than that, thanks for coming. We'll catch you next time. All right.